Apocalypse. Hey everybody, Chief here. So we've got a brand new test server this weekend and a couple of the items that uh, I wanted to bring you were some of the new modules that we're testing on the test server. Well, said testing quite a few times there. Um, anyway, um, these uh, new modules look uh, pretty handy um, so I'm kind of uh, looking forward to uh, testing them in some gameplay. I haven't tested them just yet but uh, the modules that I'm uh, talking about are the all-new Accelerator, which gives a 10% speed bonus once it's maxed out. Um, here on Test Server, you can see that it says Level 1, but that's uh, actually the stats for a Level 6 Premium Module. So uh, once it goes to the live server, it'll be 10% for a maxed out module and I'm assuming that these will stack so as you can see here I've got three of them on the Loki. The Loki is already incredibly fast um, so this should be even more insane. The other module that we're going to be taking a look at is the Fortifier. This one is just a little more complex but uh, what it does is it gives bonuses to shields. This is uh, shield regeneration of 18% bonus to shield strength or the durability of a shield uh, also 18 percent and the strength of physical shields so uh, it's my understanding that the uh, regeneration and the uh, energy shield will affect both the uh, Ansel and the Aegis shields so uh, that should be uh, pretty interesting and then of course the uh, physical shield bonus there is pretty straightforward. Now once again this is also 18% uh, bonuses for a maxed out module. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it. So what I've done here is I've uh, put some uh, robots in my lineup that can take advantage of some of these uh, new modules. Obviously the uh, Loki and uh, with all of my pilots they're all maxed out now on the test server and I've uh, went ahead and given them the uh, different uh, bonus abilities for uh, shields, mostly. Um, so anything having to do with shields or speed, I went ahead and added to the uh, various robots. So we will uh, hopefully get a, a decent look here um, at these new modules in action. Um, the uh, Blitz here, I'm... Uh, for some of the robots, I'm not running um, all of the uh, new modules, but uh, let me explain that to you real quick. So here with the Blitz, since he doesn't have a physical shield and he doesn't have a regenerating shield uh, per se, as in his shield is a uh, set amount that uh, is activated when he activates his ability. So using uh, three of the, uh, the uh, new modules on him probably would not uh, be too beneficial. Um, because, you know, most of it wouldn't really apply. But I do want to get some testing to see if it does help his shield, at least some. Uh, and then the other one is obviously the uh, two speed boosters. Um, same thing here with the tier. The tier, as you know, has a physical shield. Um, so I wanted to uh, test that out. And then uh, I have a couple of speed boosters as well, since the uh, module doesn't really have any energy field or energy shield to uh, affect with the uh, tier. I went ahead and just uh, added one to it. Now the biggest one that is going to be uh, kind of a big deal I think with these uh, modules is going to be the bulwark. Now I think the bulwark since it does have the uh, Aegis shield it regenerates and uh, it has a, a strong physical shield I think this is going to be a uh, a really strong module for the bulwark so uh, I'm really looking forward to testing that one specifically 
And then, of course, I've got the uh, Fenrir in here, and I went ahead and threw a couple of igniters on him just uh, just to play around. But uh, once again, I only have uh, one of the uh, new shield modules on him, as uh, I guess my thinking is, since the uh, Fenrir, his shield is only available in one mode and it recharges in his other mode, um, you know, I, I think taking a small advantage of the uh, recharge rate um, and the 18% uh, to the uh, overall shield strength would be useful, but there is no physical shield or anything with him. So, um, you know, I'm not going to try and max it out. I think uh, with the uh, Fenrir, I think he will benefit more from maintaining a uh, health booster still. And, uh, and I threw a speed booster just for fun. And uh, that's pretty much going to be the lineup I'm going to gonna run for you guys. Um, I haven't uh, run yet on the uh, test server so uh, what you're going to see is going to be my first match so hopefully we get a good one um, so let's get right into it okay guys so uh, here we are dropping in on Shenzhen um, I think I'm probably going to go ahead and start off with the uh, blitz robot I will save the uh, Loki for a little bit later in the match See if I can't uh, come over here and get this left beacon. Uh, looks like there is uh, a Loki already there on the field. See if I can't uh, get him taken down. Somebody's using uh, Death Mark. Alright, so uh, I was able to take out the Loki, which was pretty good. Um, and was able to turn the beacon. Now, let's see if I can't uh, get in and take this guy down. Alright, so uh, surprisingly uh, the, the shield is is really holding up well. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go down here. Uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty impressive for the uh, Blitz Shield with uh, no last stand. Um, go ahead and uh, move in here with the tier. Alright, so let's uh, try and give this. Uh, Wow. All right, so uh, certainly didn't help much uh, on the tier. See if I can't uh, get some damage into the uh, white dragon. Uh, he's uh, running last stand. That's already triggered. And he's going to tear me up. I'm going to go ahead and start counter healing just in case. It uh, looks like he wasn't able to uh, get me with his uh, built-in weapon system, thankfully. Looks like there's a lot of Lokis on the test server today. This dragon here is disconnected, so uh, unfortunately for him. Okay, looks like he was taken down. Let's see if I can't uh, try and counter some of this uh, damage here. All right, so the uh, physical shield is doing quite well. And the uh, reason I chose the uh, Vipers with the Bulwark is because I knew a lot of people were going to be testing shields and I wanted to uh, see how the uh, Vipers do against some of the uh, energy shields. Alright, I'm uh, actually 
actually not going to tag that beacon all the way. I want to try and get the uh, match extended out here some. Give some uh, time to uh, test everything. Okay, so this should be a uh, pretty good test here. Get some damage in on the invader. He should have lots of health. I really like the uh, the rate that the uh, Aegis Shield goes back up. That is definitely an improvement. I'm just going to let him take that beacon. So, let's see if he, uh, no, he didn't shoot at me. So, uh, wow, this bulwark is really doing quite well. Be able to take him down and start recharging my uh, Aegis. And you can see the Aegis just goes up really fast. And here is a Falcon, um, probably running traditionalist, but uh, he's not much of a match for the uh, Vipers. end up going down anyway but uh, yeah that was a really good run on the uh, bulwark so it was uh, very noticeable uh, the difference using the uh, modules with both the uh, physical shield and the Aegis shield so I was uh, overall pretty impressed Let's see if I can't uh, save some of my health here Probably should have put a heal module on uh, this robot. Uh, unfortunately, that wasn't something that I uh, checked before I, uh, or when I was uh, putting the robot together. But uh, I think that's uh, fine. Um, Looks like uh, we're kind of running out of beacons. Let me see if I can't get one or two turned. Might still be able to salvage the game. Um, okay. Get that uh, turned, and here I go. Should be able to uh, pull this next beacon here, but unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be quite enough. Do a little damage to him. And just go run for my life. Run, run, Loki, run. Alright, and that's game. So, uh, at least I was able to get through all of my robots. Um, I think. Uh, okay. I will uh, give. I will give feedback when I'm ready. Um, let's uh, see how that turned out. Okay, so overall the damage wasn't too bad. I think uh, most of my time was spent in the bulwark, which is not surprising. Um, that thing is an absolute beast with uh, three of those modules. Um, so uh, that's it. There you have it. Uh, it's the uh, two new modules on the uh, test server. Uh, once again, it is the accelerator and the fortifier 
Check the uh, description below if you want to test out the uh, test server this weekend for yourself. I will put the links in there. And uh, as always, thank you for watching the video. If you found it at all useful, please hit that like and don't forget to hit the subscribe. Um, it's much appreciated. And until the next video, I will catch you all later. The apocalypse.